Hey everybody, it's Modern Refugee. Back behind me here on the ground, I got a couple of logs. I'm gonna try to make something today called a uh, saw buck. And what a saw buck is, is it's kind of an X-shaped saw horse um, that's used to hold a piece of wood so you can cut it either by hand or with a chainsaw. I actually want two of these. I want one here at my place and I want one uh, out at my base camp. So if one person has to uh, hand cut some wood, they're gonna have a little bit of a, a tool that they can use to uh, to help them do that so that's what I'm gonna try to do here I'm gonna try to split these uh, rails out of these pieces of log here and I'm gonna stop along the way and kind of show you what I'm doing um, but anyway stick around This is my first completed X and I uh, 
kind of measured up from the bottom and the top to get kind of the uh, the Y part of the X where I wanted it as far as height goes. I took my chainsaw there and I uh, trimmed off a little bit at a time to get it the height that I wanted. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to lay my other pieces from my second rail onto this one and that's I'm going to cut them the exact same way and then I'm going to have two identical X's that I'll be able to put together with uh, cross pieces and that's kind of my uh, second part of my uh, operation here. One thing I want to add is, is when you're doing something like this, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect because it's going to be sunk into the ground. It's There's going to be uneven ground where you're going to use it and stuff, so it doesn't have to be picture perfect uh, straight in every aspect. Um, and it's best to take just a little bit of wood at a time off. That way uh, you can always take more off, but you can't add it back on if you cut it too short. So it's kind of a trial and error and a little bit at a time deal until you get it the way you need it to be.
Well, now that I got the uh, saw buck kind of rough made here, I'm going to kind of show you what it's for. So I got a log here. Just going to set this in here like so. Reach over here and grab my handsaw real quick and show you here. So one guy by himself, even with a handsaw, can cut himself a couple pieces of wood without kneeling or bending. I'll show you here one more piece. That's kind of why a saw buck is uh, kind of nice to have. Now, if I was using a chainsaw, I could set two or three pieces here and uh, I could cut two or three pieces at the same time. finished saw buck project kind of give you a little bit of a look here what it looks like good and sturdy it's not going to go anywhere uh, when I'm cutting kind of wanted to do this project to uh, show folks how to uh, make a little bit of a, a tool to help you out uh, if you're cutting wood by hand I know a lot of people carry those uh, small saws in their packs and stuff something like this could really uh, save your back so you don't have to be bending down on the ground if you're cutting stuff with a handsaw or even a chainsaw, um, just a real basic uh, wood cutting tool here. These are the tools that I used for this uh, project. Just use my chainsaw, my axes, splitting maul, my hand sledgehammers, pair of gloves, my hatchet. Used a good handful of uh, 16 penny nails, nails, screws, hammers, all good things to have around uh, if you got a repair something or if you have to uh, fabricate something like this especially uh, kind of post SHTF but uh, just kind of wanted to show this to folks give them some ideas on uh, some things that they can do if they're caught in a bad situation and they gotta cut a little wood by hand to keep it warm but uh, anyway if you guys got any uh, questions you can put them down in the comments I'll try to answer them the best I can I appreciate all my subscribers out there I hope you guys are uh, getting some ideas from my videos but uh, this is Modern Refugee I hope you guys have a great day.